Good morning everyone. It's Saturday. I just wanted to let you guys know quickly that I'm just really behind with getting my videos out to you. Just with going to my dad's each weekend and working during the week. So I'm working on it as quick as I can and I'll get them out to you as a priority. So this one's dating back to the 26th of March but yeah I'll try and get them out as quick as I can. I've just woken up, I've just got dressed. We've got to let these puppies out, let them do their piddles. We've got a wet, wet weekend ahead of us again. I think it's raining for the next few, few um, weeks. Oh, you've got no water, you've finished all your dinner. Good morning, good morning, hello. You coming out? Come on. You're gonna do wee wee's. Don't start trouble, Bandit. Hey, no one cares. No one cares. Standard. It's standard. Chaos. Chaos. Hey. Chaos. Come here. Chaos. Come. Chaos. Chaos. Come here. Oh, chaos. Come here. Give me cuddles. Come. Come here. Come here. Okay, now they're right. <laughs> he's, he's only brave when he's in his cage. Go do wee wees. What's happened to your foot? See? You've hurt your foot. Or have you got something stuck in it? Or you hurt it because you were arguing? Come here, Bandy. After you've done wee wees, come here, show me your foot. Go do your patrol, big dog. Make sure everything's safe. Are your foot better now? Did you just have something stuck in it? Come here, Bandy. Come. This is the most disobedient dog ever. Lucky he's such a bloody friendly, lovely dog. He's heard it. Yeah, he heard his foot while he was fighting. Does it to himself every time. He knows he never wins, but he always starts these arguments. Did he actually cut it or something? Or just seeing if there's any blood in the cage. What did you do to your foot, Bandy? Yeah, it's, he's heard it. Fighting. Guarantee it. Did you rip your nail out or something? Being a peanut, again, see? Limpy dog, again. Come here, Bandy, come. Show me your foot. Come here, Bandy, come. He will not listen. Bandy, come. Unbelievable. He is always injured, that dog, always. Oh, the birds in the sky. <sighs> so we have, oh God, no. That is way too close. So Back home again. I'm going to update you all on the hair situation. I'm very excited. I've got myself booked in finally. So yesterday, as you saw, I went to my dad's to do another day of decluttering and cleaning there. And it just, I just, I don't think I got much footage at all, to be honest. I haven't checked, but I just don't think I got a lot of footage. <laughs> Because I'm just, when I'm in the zone and getting it all done, I just completely forget about the camera. And plus the room I was working in yesterday was so pokey and tiny. It was really hard to get proper footage. But I think I did show you like a before and after anyway. So I, I only ended up getting one room done yesterday. It was the smallest bedroom. I honestly didn't think it would take me as long as it did. But I literally had about six trips to the bins, like to the skip bins in the village, just clearing out 
rubbish from that room like all the pretty much all the clothes in that wardrobe were unusable either too small or too stained so they all just went and yeah I mean you saw what what's left in there I've either just got to sell or donate to the thrift store so yeah we're, we're making progress it's pretty slow but we'll get there so next week when I go down I'm going to tackle my dad's room the one that he's currently sleeping in. I'm hoping he spent his first night in the big bedroom last night. Chances are he probably didn't, but once we get into his room that he's currently in and we trash all that furniture and he'll have no other choice but to sleep in the big bedroom, I think that's when he'll finally transition over there. So next week, I'm hoping to get Michael to come with me, bring the trailer, and we're just going to take all of that furniture that is in that room, like the room that he's currently sleeping in, we're just going to take it all to the tip because it's just, oh my God yeah it's just <laughs> it's just beyond beyond help beyond bothering like i'm actually embarrassed taking it to the tip in the state that it is but yeah we're just gonna dump all that and pretty much all i think that whole room's gonna take me a full day because i'm not only gonna declutter it um obviously get rid of a lot of the rubbish that's in there but then i want to deep clean that room and then uh start organizing some of the stuff that we're going to be selling so i can sort of spread it out and put it put it in that bigger room and just sort of you know know what we've got to sell and just store it in there until it's either sold or we just get to the thrift store and donate it so that's my plan for next weekend please don't start don't start bandit stop bandit So yeah, that's the plan for next weekend to finally get the last bedroom done and then we can start working on the bathrooms or oh, the, the toilet like because he's got a toilet in the laundry that he uses and it's just I mean, you know, when it's old people and you know, I'm not like trying to embarrass my dad or anything because it I mean, it happens to everyone. They can't wipe themselves properly. They can't clean themselves properly. I mean, my dad's not mobile at all like it's you know he can only barely stand on his feet enough to make himself a cup of tea and then sit back down again so he's, he can't do any sort of cleaning so the house really smells like it's really especially the toilet area it's just overpowering at the moment um, so that's why I want to get th that's mainly the reason I'm getting in there and doing all this as well because it's yeah it's it's embarrassing like I mean see he's living in it so he doesn't smell it on himself but you know I just don't want people thinking I mean everyone in the village is understanding and you know there's they all know someone that is the same way and you know what I mean so I just yeah I just want to clean it all up for my dad and once I've got the house decluttered and in a state where it's more manageable, then each week that I go then I can keep on top of the cleaning and make sure it's all bleached and disinfected and you know, it's got smelling a lot fresher because it, he doesn't like having the windows open in his house either. Like he has the whole place locked up like Fort Knox. I think he's just, cause he heard that someone in the village um, got broken into one time and I think since that day he's just been a bit fearful that they're going to break into his house I mean not that he's got anything to steal like he's just got nothing anyone would even bother taking you know what I mean like but I think it's just the fact of someone being in his house that he you know he can't defend himself so yeah it's he's just always got the place locked up so there's no ventilation going through the house you know and I left like yesterday I was there all day and as soon as I get there I open up every single window in the house to get fresh air going through and about three o'clock I hadn't eaten all day so I said to my dad look well, I'll go out and just get some dinner for us I'll do a little bit of shopping fill my car up with petrol so I'm all ready to go when I need to leave to pick Jamie up I was probably gone for about an hour and in that hour he had closed and locked every single window in the house so the minute I left he must have shuffled around and locked every single window so when I got back the whole house was locked up again so yeah um, if I'm going there at least once a week now um, 
I can just make sure that it's at least ventilating for one day a week um, and I think too because you know he's got it always locked up that's how the mold is developing as well and I said that to him I said you need air going through to vent the house and get the humidity out and you know what I mean so yeah I'm I'm hoping now that I'm on top of my own house a little bit better I can then try and keep on top of my dad's as well so yeah once we get it all de decluttered and deep cleaned I'm hoping I can just sort of go there, spend an hour cleaning it each week, getting all his washing done and everything like that. Because at the moment, the, he's got a cleaner that comes in, um, I think once a fortnight, and cleans, and it's not enough. And then he's got carers that come and help him bath, like help him shower and do his washing and stuff like that. But yeah, I think once I can sort of keep on top of it myself, we can free up the carers for you know, other personal services that he might need, like if he needs to get his feet done because his feet are giving him a lot of trouble, you know, go to podiatrist, um, get his feet sorted out, get massages or whatever to help with his circulation and all that sort of thing, rather than chewing up all the carer's money in just keeping the house clean. So, yeah, that's the whole plan anyway. And, yeah, um, at the moment I'm just managing to get one room done at a time, but, God... You know, I didn't think my dad had a lot of stuff, but honestly, I filled up a complete skip bin of just rubbish just from the one room yesterday. So I think his room is going to be another big, <laughs> big clean out again as well. So, yeah, that's the update with my dad's place. I went and saw the hairdresser yesterday and we've booked me in for, I think, the 14th of April and yeah she's going to strip my hair first so get all the color out and at this stage i'm going to go with a chocolate brown so i'm going to do away with the black she was trying to convince me to go lighter just because of all the gray coming in she said it will look better if your hair is lighter it won't be as noticeable once your regrowth happens and i said look i'm not bothered about that too much i'm just not ready to go light with my hair yet i just i still like the dark look so I said yeah I think for me going chocolate brown is going a bit lighter so yeah I said we'll, we'll go with the chocolate brown first and then as I get used to it being a bit lighter maybe we can put some highlights in that gradually gets it lighter but yeah I'm just not ready to go <laughs> light or gray or silver or any of those colors at this stage so very excited got myself booked in for the 14th of April so still a couple of weeks away I tried to get it on my rostered day off so I'm not having to take a day off work so yeah it won't be this Friday coming it'll be the following Friday I'm pretty sure so yeah super excited to finally get my hair sorted out and I think when I go up and get my hair done that that day I think I'm going to get my eyebrows redone when I go there as you can see they're getting a little bit overgrown again I'm itching to pluck them but I've said to myself no nah, I'm not going to touch them I'm just going to let them fix them because everything's a working progress with me at the moment I'm working on my hair working on my eyebrows working on my body and though in saying that the last couple of days have been a bit of a blowout it's been that time of the month and yeah I think for the last four days I haven't done keto so yeah god only knows what damage that's done to the scales but back on it again today so yeah that was the update i managed to get my dad a clothes era like a like a clothes rack that he can hang his clothes on on the rainy days didn't find the one the same one i had they didn't have any in stock and with all this rain he definitely needed one so i just got him a smaller one that will you know it'll suffice for what he needs so yeah that's the update on all of that situation today i've got a i want to do a few little pocket cleans in my house there's a few drawers that i just want to sort out and tidy up so we'll do a couple little pocket cleans throughout the day i need to change the sheets on my bed i think the kitchen needs a little bit of a clean I know it's the weekend, but it's miserable, it's raining, I'm not doing anything else, so I just figured I'll just, you know, do a little bit of cleaning in the house, because, yeah, I just don't feel like doing any craft projects at all this weekend. I think I'm all craft out for a couple of weeks now after doing all those signs, and all those signs, I think by about three, they've all sold, so pretty happy with that. I've still got more frames left, so I think I might... Um, 
do a few more up. The laundry ones seem to be hella popular. And I think mainly because here in Australia, you don't really get any laundry decor items. So I think the rest of the signs, I might just make up um, all little laundry signs and um, list those as well, because they were quick and easy to do on the Cricut machine. So yeah, that's the plan for today. I've got a little haul to show you guys. Um, the rest of my AliExpress items came. I've already opened them and, and you know, t taken them out of their packet. So I'll just show you what I got. There was just a couple of little beauty items and, you know, different weird beauty things that I found on AliExpress that I just wanted to try out. So I'll show you what I got with those. Well, I'm gonna have a coffee. I'm gonna have a little bit of breakfast now. And then we'll get stuck into the day and I'll take you along with me. Before I carry on with a bit of tidying up and cleaning up, I thought I would share my little haul from AliExpress. It's a few weird and wonderful beauty items that I've found while I've been in that whole rabbit hole that you get into when you start looking at AliExpress. And I just thought I'd share it with you today. So the first two items I picked up were these nudie colored lip glosses. Okay, don't come at me. I know I've just decluttered a heap of lip glosses, but in saying that, they were colors that I don't like or weren't gonna use. Uh, these colors are right up my alley. They were literally $2 each free postage so you can't even buy them here in Australia anywhere for two dollars each and yeah I just really love the colors this one definitely love 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 that color this one I'll have to see what it actually looks like on my lips to see whether I'm gonna actually like it but I'll give you a little swatch on my skin so you can sort of see what are you looking at? I'm just seeing what you're cluttering again. I'm not cluttering. So those are the two colours there. Is it going to focus? Focus. There we go. So yeah, this taupey sort of pink I really like. This one is actually quite nice, but I'm not sure if it's going to look good on my lips or not. So if not, I'll see if Jessie likes that one. But yeah, so two lip glosses. It's hard to buy lip glosses from, you know, your computer screen because you just don't know what they're going to look like in person. I actually thought when I picked them out that it was going to be this one that I would like, but yeah, it's um it actually doesn't look too bad. So maybe if I do a lip liner with a bit more of a taupey undertone and then put this on top, it'll probably turn out quite nice because yeah, I don't mind those two color swatches actually. I think they are quite nice. And it's like a creamy velvety finish as well, not matte and not gloss. So I picked those two up. The other thing I picked up was this tint my four tip brow. So it's an eye color, four forked water eyebrow pen. It looks like that. So you can see here the pen has got like four little tiny tips on it and it's to help fill in your eyebrows with like to give you those little feather strokes on your eyebrows now all of these products from aliexpress they're super super cheap like they're literally like one or two dollars each so you can't expect a lot from them but if i can find a cheap product that does the same kind of job as a 20 dollars product like why wouldn't you give it a go um so that's what the pen looks like but you can see it's got four tiny little lines. And when you, I'm not good at doing swatches, but if you just feather it on your skin lightly, you can see it kind of gives you that feathering eyebrow hair look. So very keen to give that one a try. Probably be a bit of trial and error for me anyway, because I'm not good at that sort of stuff, but we'll see. Uh, the other thing I picked up from AliExpress, or well, all of it from AliExpress, I probably don't need to keep saying that, was this long wear waterproof lash mascara. This actually came with something. I think it came with this. So you got the lash mascara, so it's a waterproof lash mascara. The wand is a nice big thick bushy wand. And again, I will give them a go, try them out, let you know what I think. And that also came with this little packet here, which is an eyebrow kit. 
So you've got your styling, it's Browse Art Styling Soap. So it's a little tin and it comes with a little spoolie like that. So this I think is like a pomade, is that how you say it? It's basically like a, um, like a, uh, a hard gel kind of thing that you would then brush into your brows to f sort of fill them in with colour and then I think this sort of soap, it's not soap that you wash it. <laughs> Your brows in. I'm not a beauty guru guys. I have no idea how to explain all this shit. I just saw it on AliExpress. It looked interesting. It was cheap enough. So I thought I want to give it a go. So it's a styling soap, which I'm assuming is kind of like a brow gel. So you would brush it into your eyebrows. It would give you some color and keep your eyebrow hairs in place. That's what I'm assuming it does. When I give it a go, I'll let you know what it actually does. So that was those two, and I think both of those together was like maybe four or five dollars. So yeah, super cheap. The other thing I picked up were these, what do you call these? The blackhead strips. I don't know what you call them. You put them on your nose and then once they dry, you peel them off and it's supposed to pull all the blackheads out of your skin. Now I don't really have a lot of noticeable blackheads but I just thought they're just good for clear, clearing out your pores on your nose anyway so I got two of those. I think you come in a pack of 10 so there's 20 of them there. I think they were literally like 49 cents, 99 cents, something like that. Those, the other thing I picked up were some teeth whitening strips. So these are the 5D, I don't know what brand they are, it doesn't really say, but the 5D white whitening strips, again, just to whiten my teeth. I'm obsessed with having super white teeth, like um, I've got all the whitening kits and that, and they're still not white enough for me. I want them to be that white where you smile and people go, holy cow, what happened to your teeth? That's how white I want my teeth. So we're not there yet. But yeah, I'm just obsessed with doing whitening stuff on them. So, and it also comes with a little whitening card so you can sort of see where your teeth are starting with and then what results you get. So I think the pack that was, uh, these were, how many do we get? So I think I got 14 pairs. So you, you get a top and a bottom strip in each packet and I got 14 packets and I think they were $8 maybe. They've come down a lot. Like I remember when I first started looking at these, they were almost a, a probably about $2 a packet. So they were like a pack of 14 like that would have nearly cost about $30. So yeah, hopefully they are good quality and do the job. So I will let you know when I try those out. The other thing I found was this wooden bristle, I don't know, is it like a hog hair bristle um, face cleansing brush. Now on first feel of it, it feels very, very stiff considering it's a brush for your face. So not sure how this is gonna go. It was only, I think a dollar something. So I'll try it out. But yeah, just on first feel, it doesn't feel very soft that you would use on your face but I don't mind scrubby like I like a lot of scrubby scrubby on my face so I'll try it and see if it's all right the other thing I got <laughs> were these yes it was a deep rabbit hole that we did enter but <laughs> I did find these these are actually those things that you put in your mouth I'm not going to put them on now because I got lipstick on but you put them in your mouth you can use them like use them at the dentist it keeps your lips separated from your teeth so it just pulls your lips apart so that your teeth are like your mouth will basically look like that and i got these because i've got some whitening i've got a whitening pen that you paint the peroxide paste onto your teeth and then you put a mouth guard in so i got these to put in to keep my gums from rubbing it off before i put the mouth guard on so yeah, these were literally about 99 cents as well. So yeah, it's just to put the whitening stuff on my teeth, nothing exciting. The other thing I picked up was this. Now, 
This is where you can sometimes fall down a trap with AliExpress because this looked way bigger than in the picture than it actually came. And I mean, look, I still think it's going to do the job. It definitely is a lot tinier than I was expecting. So it's basically a USB UV light for your nails. So when you paint, you do your nails with some gel nail polish you just stick your hands under there it's got a couple of little uv lights under there to help dry the, the gel nail now have i got high hopes for this no <laughs> it was two dollars i'll try it see if it works i mean you can barely get your four fingers under there it is tiny but in saying that with it being so tiny it's nice and compact so you don't have a big handheld machine like a big machine that goes over your whole hand this might do the job even better who knows so we'll give that a go that's a um a gel little uv gel lamp the other thing i picked up this is such such random crap that i found uh this is for my retainers so i've had invisalign so now pretty much for the rest of my life I have to wear retainers at night. Just It just helps to keep your teeth staying in place. And the little box or thing that I put them in, I don't really like it because if, like I wash my retainers and then, you know, rinse them out, wash them with a bit of toothpaste and rinse them and then put them in the box. But um, with the still having water on there, there's always like water at the bottom of the box. And it just it grosses me out quite a bit. So I even wash them again before I put them in my teeth as well. Because it's, yeah. Uh, so this one comes with a little drain in it. So uh, you can just stick your retainers in there. It's got a little drain thing. So you can drain, the water will actually drain off and not sit in the mouth guards or in the retainers. This is actually a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be. I think it's actually for false teeth so if you've got false teeth you sit them in there so yeah obviously my retainers aren't quite as big as false teeth but I thought this would be good for putting the mouth guard that I use to whiten my teeth I thought it'd be good to store that in here as well uh, to keep it you know off the counter and a bit more sterile so that again was like a dollar something so not a lot of money the other thing I found online was this foot mask I'm not usually into feet masks and all that, mainly because it's a struggle to get down there to do anything with them. But these are like a, it's like an exfoliating foot mask and it's supposed to help get rid of like your dead skin or, you know, any hard skin on your feet. And I think they're kind of like a sock that you put on your foot. Like they feel like it's got, like it's moist in there, like a... I know it's a shitty word, but yeah, it feels like it's a moist sock that you kind of put on your feet and soak them in that. So I think that was like a dollar or two dollars. So I thought I'll give that a go. The other thing I picked up was this, uh, what do we call it? A micro needle therapy system. So I think this is something to do with, is it not microblading your face? micro needle i can't think what it's called something is it like micro dermabrasion um so this yeah it's quite interesting it's um okay i thought it'd be a lot spikier than that it shows that unless you have to open up the spikes now i can feel them all right so on the picture it actually shows a roller and i don't know if you can see it clearly but it was actually got like quite big spikes on it that's what I was actually expecting so I think what this is supposed to do is you roll it on your face and I think it pokes minute little holes into your skin that then encourages the blood to come and repair your skin and it's supposed to rejuvenate your skin now look, I could be absolutely completely wrong about that because I haven't really read too much into it. It was just one of those gadgets that come up as I was buying all this other shit. It come up and I thought, yep, yeah, I'll give that a go. That looks cool. So I'm going to look it up before I um, do anything with it. But it, it and, and this doesn't have the spikes on it like it shows in the picture. Definitely not. 
and you can't even feel spikes when you rub it on your finger but when you kind of rub it one way you can definitely feel like there's some sort of like spikiness there so what it says on the box uh, it says do not force the roller into the skin but simply use mild pressure roll obliquely at the same intensity covering the same areas vertically and horizontally apply MTS protocols according to client needs no idea what that is maybe some sort of cream or moisturizer after the treatment apply MTS post care solutions for the skin protection and for safety for safety correct use use read the manual thoroughly before using the roller um, so we didn't get a manual <laughs> which is yeah probably expected if you've only paid a couple of dollars for something from China um, but it says the instrument cannot be overused as the needles will remain sharp for a prolonged time so yeah I think I'll read a little bit more about it before I do anything with it yeah I'll let you know <laughs> anything to improve the skin tone right so that's that and that I think was maybe two or three dollars and I've pretty much seen the exact same one like in the same box selling on beauty websites for over thirty dollars so yeah uh I mean try aliexpress i don't know i like it <laughs> and then the last thing i got was this skin tag remover kit i i've got a little like well two little skin tags just sort of where my bra rubs just underneath my arm and oh, they're just gross i don't like them so i got this little kit to try and remove them so what this kit is supposed to do is it's got like a little contraption here i think this is how it works you put the band onto the end of this right then you sit this bit over the skin tag and then you use this to then push the band onto the skin tag i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure that's how it works so yeah you slide the band up to the edge put this whole bit say if your skin tags here on your arm put that whole bit on and then you use this bit to push the band onto the skin tag now what that does the band then will clasp around the skin tag and pretty much it's supposed to cut the blood supply off to the skin tag and then in a couple of days you know i think maybe three or four days once it's had no blood supply it just falls off by itself that's the theory anyway so i will let you know if that works <laughs> that whole little kit was about four dollars i think so yeah i'll see if, it, if that works if not i also believe iodine um if you rub iodine on them for a few days that makes them fall off as well so if you do have any um yeah there's a couple of tips for you so that's my little weird aliexpress beauty haul let's do a little pocket clean so it's not gonna be like you know it's just a quick pocket clean this has just been bothering me it's a little bit all over the place it's not really organized so i'm just gonna quickly get in here sort it out um, we've got a lot of excess stuff left over from the cafe that we've just put in here now so I think I'm just going to take everything out wipe the drawer out and put it back neatly that's our pocket clean for today we're going to do a couple more areas over the weekend as well um, just short little bursts of five or ten minutes to get one area clean and organized and you know before you know it your whole house will be done
added a bit of Tetris and I've um, I've got it how I like it so all up the back there they're all you know doubles that haven't been opened or if they have been opened we've already got one here to get rid of first just so we don't constantly have multiple packets all being opened so pretty much one of everything and bin liners done it took like yeah five minutes <laughs> so let's do the next draw next draw down is the tea towels it doesn't look like you know there's much there but yeah let's just fold these a little bit neater and sit them in the drawer a little bit better so i'm going to pull them all out wipe the drawer down refold them and put them back in a couple of YouTube videos while I rolled all the tea towels up again I'm gonna give it a go this way normally I just have them folded but um, yeah just thought I'd roll them up this time see if it keeps the drawer any neater chances are it won't stay like this but at least now you can sort of see all the tea towels that we have and yeah I kind of have all the drying type of tea towels in that side this middle part are the more decorative kind of tea towels so usually the ones I might hang off my oven door that I tend not to want to be used to dry dishes and then those a lot of those white ones we will tend to use for um, drying the dishes on so we don't have a drying mat or anything like that so I'll just um, put one of those tea towels down to put the clean dishes on while they're drying on the side of the sink so that was kind of my thought process with that super quick super easy took me five minutes and that's another little pocket progress done in my house so the last little area we are giving a little pocket clean to is the two cupboards or the two shelves in the cupboards above my computer desk this is now where i'm storing all of my candles wax melts air fresheners, room sprays, anything to do with making the house smell nice is getting stored here. So I've never really organized it. I just sort of had it all stuffed in here. But um, yeah, I'm just making sure that the shelves are gonna be strong enough to hold all them because the candles are actually quite heavy. And yeah, we're just gonna organize it and arrange it a little bit more neatly and in a way that I can see what I've got and reach everything easily enough. And I figured while I was here cleaning the cupboards above my shelf, I figured I'd just quickly clean the two drawers um, that are on my desk as well because, again, things are just getting shoved in there. So, um, yeah, we're just going to give these a quick clean as well. And, you know, all of these pocket cleans take less than five minutes and makes a huge difference. So I'm going to finish a video off here, guys. I hope you've been enjoying the declutter series that I'm doing at my dad's place. I'll have more of those to come coming up. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching.